Hey guys, so obviously you can tell that the vlog got started very late today. Just had a lot of things to do and honestly, I've been so distracted and slightly stressed out and I'm slightly depressed that like it just took me a while to find the motivation to turn on the camera. Like I wanted to do it, but to actually like get myself to do it and I was like, okay, you gotta, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. It's a weekend thing. You promised yourself you'd, you know, vlog on the weekend. So I'm gonna talk to you guys while I'm getting ready. I gotta go and run some errands. And the last vlog you saw was all about Falcor and the terrible thing that happened to him. So on that day, we did text the owner and he texted us back and basically was like, hey, I'm sorry about what happened. That's really unfortunate, and um, we like to do whatever we can to help. Great. So, um, I let him know the estimate of how much the vet bill was going to be. And at the time, it was estimated to be like $1,200. Really expensive. Now, that changed after we went and picked up Falcor, and it lowered to much lower than that. So, we gave the dog owner um the amount of the new the new amount i actually even texted him a photo of the um invoice from the vet hospital and he's like great you know let's meet up and i'll give you guys we agreed on half of the cost great and i was like this is a responsible dog owner i'm so happy um that you know like we're not having to like chase him down blah 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 right well hold your horses because then that night, it was Sunday night. No, sorry, it was, yes, it was Sunday night and he's like, look, it's really late, can we do this tomorrow? Fine, whatever. Tomorrow comes and we're like, hey, you ready to meet up? And excuses, 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 how his boss is out of town, he was gonna borrow money from the boss and all these other like personal stuff came into play that I'm not gonna talk about on, on camera. And he's, he asked basically for an extension to pay us in cash um, Friday night. We're like, you know what? We're going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Fine. No problem. Well, yesterday was Friday. We texted him. Nothing. Okay. Maybe he's not checking his phone. We texted him again. Nothing. So... I'm extremely disappointed by the action of this dog owner. It sucks because they seem so ready to cooperate, so understanding and caring. And I always try to find good in people. And I thought, that's great. You know, they're, they're willing to, to pay up. They understand that this was an accident. It was them that they initiated the amount that they wanted to pay. Um, we, we hadn't, you know, come to that agreement yet. And they were the ones that came to us with like, like, it was pretty elaborate too. Like, oh, I talked to my friends and other dog owners and they think that I should pay half and we agreed. So it's like for him to not be communicating with us, to be completely scamming us in a way is really disheartening because, and the fact that they live on the next block over. So I know before long, I'm going to have to run into... Not him, because I actually don't know what he looks like, but I'm going to run into the girlfriend, probably walking the dog. Either way, I'm going to walk into the dog. The next step is for us to get the other half of um, Falcor's vet bill is to go to small claims court. I don't want to do that. Dustin don't want to do that. It's a hassle. Why? Um, so we're going to give it another text tonight and see if we get any response. Probably not, going by the way it's been going all yesterday. So it's looking like that's the direction we're going to have to head, and it sucks. I've heard so many cases that, you know, the dog owner doesn't pay up or they just somehow disappear and, and stuff like that. And it's like, I thought this one incident, this unfortunate incident, was going to work out because they were the ones that texted us before we texted, you know what I mean? But obviously, it's not working out that way, so. Anyways, um, let's talk about Falcor for a second. Falcor is recovering. He's still wearing the cone of shame. I switched him to the, he's not even in here. I switched him to, like, the inflatable donut cone, 
when he's like awake and walking around so he's not like bumping into every single wall and it's like think of like a giant travel pillow that goes around here so he still can't scratch or bite at his um at his uh his stitches so um but when he goes to bed i put the comb back on so um because he can't sleep in the donut it like kind of chokes him a little bit anyways um so that's that and uh i'm just gonna go out and run to the store and grab some stuff for us and uh try to not stress too much about this whole situation i'm already stressed out enough but um had a rough week too but it's not the end of the world, I guess, like, I guess it could be worse. I don't know. Here's little Falcor in his donut cone. I think it kind of looks like the Millennium Falcon because it's there's an opening on this side underneath. But anyways, um, he likes to lay on the side where he got stitches on. So there's, <sighs> I keep trying to correct him, but he just keeps lying down in it. So whatever. I guess if he's comfortable and he's not wincing in pain, I guess it's all right. But this is where they had to do some blood work and draw his blood and stuff like that. And, um, sorry, you don't like it. So, yeah, he's just kind of pretty much home recovering, aren't you? Almost ready to go. I'm just trying to find the case for my camera, and I don't know what I did with it. I know I had it. Don't you guys hate this? Like you're trying to leave, you're almost ready, or you or you are ready, and then you can't find like half of the things that you need to take with you. Got it. Let's go. Just had to run back upstairs because I left my phone. I'm usually not this much of a hot mess, you guys, but today, today is something else. Okay, that was it. All done. Just dog food and dog stuff. Always paying for dog stuff, I guess. Um, but now I'm gonna feed me, so time to get some human food. I definitely bought too much food for one person. This is what happens when you go and get food when you're and you're extra hungry. So I got fried tofu. This place is, uh, fried tofu is amazing. And then I got, um, rice with curry that's in there. So I'm gonna hurry up and eat the fried tofu first, or they won't taste good anymore. Almost forgot, so I got, they had a special for the sea salt cream milkshake. In a couple of vlogs ago, we got like, or I got the salt cream, salt cream green tea and it wasn't that great. But this time, maybe because it's not matcha green tea, it's actually milk tea, it's gonna be better. Can't taste the cream at all, it just tastes like a extra creamy milk tea. I don't know. It's not bad, just not what I was expecting. Well, I can't watch 13 Reasons Why because uh, Dustin and I are watching that together. So I guess I will catch up on Attack on Titan because season two is out now. Um, but I like can't remember what happened in the last three episodes of season one. I mean, I kind of know what happened, but then when the first episode of season two started, I was like, wait, I don't remember what happened right before this. So now I have to take extra time and <laughs> go back and like recap myself. Wow, I really, like, it's, it's on a commercial break right now because I'm watching it on Hulu, but I really don't remember any of this. Like, what, did I fall asleep when I was watching it or something? I mean, that's possible, I guess, because we watch stuff late at night, but... I guess I'm gonna have to power through the last, like, three to four episodes. I think this is, like, episode 19 of season one, so I got, like, 9, 19, 20, 21, 22. I think there's 22, 21, like, two or three more episodes to go before I can even watch season two. And kind of show you where how his stitches are healing um it's scabbed over there's a little bit of like dry blood on there so i don't know if he maybe pulled it a little bit when he was playing um yesterday but um he's been on his medicine and he's still got a few more days to go and uh i think i'm gonna go take him back they said the stitches can come out in like three to, sorry, in seven to ten days. Hey, look who's home. Hey. Well. I'm pooped. Yeah, he worked today. Dustin, mm -hmm. Dustin worked like six days. He'll work seven days this week, Monday through Sunday, which is kind of insane. I think I'm working five days next week. What am I doing? I think I might be working seven days again next week, too. It's, it's insane. Um, so, 
update on the dog owner. Dustin texted him again. Again today, three times yesterday when we were supposed to Yeah, meet. I gave him like a rundown in the beginning of the vlog. Um, what? the hell and uh so we wrote that like maybe an hour and a half ago has there been a response nope nothing so, at all so like we like i told you earlier we don't want to take it to small claims but it looks like it's going to head that direction and it's going to suck yeah because that's when feelings become hostile but then i i mean you have no one to blame but yourself like now you're avoiding us after you told us and you were so cooperative and all that stuff in the beginning. Yeah, and it was actually his idea. He was like, oh yeah, you know, why don't we just split it 50-50? And I was like, okay, you know what, I'll, I'll agree to that. 50-50 sounds so, good. So, anyways, so I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on that um, as, as it unfolds, I guess. We'll see. Well, this is kind of nice. It's just staying home tonight, being kind of a little bit bored. You know what girls do when we get bored? Or at least I know what this girl does when she's bored. Online shopping. More like online window shopping because I'll pick out a bunch of stuff and I'll look at it and then I'll convince myself that I don't need anything and then I don't buy anything. But I wasted a bunch of time sitting on the internet. How's your Saturday night going, Navi? It's exciting, huh? Yep. I need that excited. There's so much stuff on my mind that's accumulated throughout the week. And on top of that, since we're dealing with the dog stuff, Plus some other issues that I am definitely not going to talk about on camera. Um, I just, like, my mind is so stuck in that place, I can't even think about anything else. It friggin' sucks. So I'm resorting to drinking stress relief tea, stress balance. It says it supports, supports a healthy stress response, and uh, it's a long shot, but you know. Yeah, I find it funny. Wendy uses tea. This is my stress relief. Well, you know, I would if I could, like, drink without getting, like, allergic to what I'm drinking. I know. And then I'd be downing one of those, too. <laughs> Hi, Falky. Oh. Looks so sad with your cone. Oh, buddy. Well, it's about 1 a.m. and I still haven't even started editing this vlog yet, so I better get to it. So this is the end of this vlog. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in the next vlog. Say goodnight, Dustin.